Cool. So this video, we actually have a challenge going out to the Gray Square team. Uh, so for Landon, Tim, and Catalina, uh, this is going to be for the quarantine time, for the coronavirus. What are five things you can do to utilize your time properly? So I came up with five of my own. I'm shooting out a video challenge to you guys, kind of get the conversation moving in a more positive direction. Uh, so number one, starting it off, study. Take this time to educate yourself, self-educate, pick a topic, go and learn everything about it. I wanted to get into the YouTube videos again, so I'm going to learn more about how to do the reactions and what the fair practice laws are and everything that goes around it. Uh, number two, while kind of going hand in hand with number one for me, is going to be to read. So many things open up when you start to look into more self-help things and just read about whatever topic it is that interests you, uh, whether it's business, what we normally talk about, marketing, uh, or anything at all. Pick up a book, take this downtime uh, to socially isolate yourself and get some quality reading in. Uh, the three that I really recommended when I first got into reading was Emotional Intelligence 2.0, uh, the 10x rule by grant cardone and the leader who had no title those were like my three introductory books uh when i was like first getting into marketing to really kind of like set the tone and get things going with me so they're my recommendations if you don't even know where to start with that uh, next is going to be to organize your time better take this time to update your calendar uh, literally map out everything. Use your, use your calendar, it's right on your smartphone. Uh, time with friends and family, times with loved ones, times for business, uh, recreation, uh, learning, studying, reading, whatever it is that you start to do, get accustomed to living by a schedule and a calendar. The days are gonna start blurring together. If you're not doing anything at this time, and your productivity is gonna go completely out the window. Use this time to get really, really good with practicing what you preach in terms of time utilization, all right? Uh, number four, practice goal setting. Uh, so an easy way to avoid lack of productivity during the whole outbreak is going to be to come up with daily and weekly goals for the entire time that you're quarantined, all right? Never know if it's gonna be done today, if it's gonna be done tomorrow, so set it up for day by day. And then an overarching like, hey, if I'm in quarantine all week, I wanna make sure I accomplish X, Y, and Z while we do it. Um, this is going to be super important to carry this over. Like, let's say this lasts a month. You have 28 days to get really good at practicing goal setting. You're going to form a positive habit by the time you get back into your regular routine. There's never going to be a bad time to have daily or weekly goals. So it's a good time to pick the habit up now uh, while it's not as hectic with your regular work schedules. Uh, and then finally, five, invest in a side hustle. Whatever it is you've been wanting to get into, I've seen people um, going and selling baked goods, getting really into uh, their own crafts, whether it's like selling woodworking or things of like designs. So this is a great opportunity for you to really be able to focus, specifically if you have a job that's allowing you to be paid from home or work from home, utilize the time that you're normally traveling to and from work or that you would be depression sleeping for 12 hours a day during the quarantine and really invest in yourself into a side hustle, all right? You never know what's going to be the big thing that breaks that allows you to now do something for the rest of your life. So those are my five. Again, uh, this is going out for Catalina, Tim, and Landon over at Gray Square. Send your responses. You can link them in the comments below. Uh, tag on all social media platforms. Uh, good luck with the quarantine, everybody.